happy Monday. I hope you are all well. Oh, we are going to ignore the state of me. I'm very aware that the circles under my eyes are quite large. <laughs> it has been a weekend, I am telling you that. Well, no, it's been a Sunday, to be fair. It's Monday, I've dropped my kids off at school. I need to get some work done. I've barely done any over the weekend. I did some yesterday, but yeah. I didn't get a huge amount done. My little boy had an accident last night and I thought we were going to have to take him to hospital, to be honest with you. I barely slept a wink. But yeah, he... If you don't like... If you don't like, like, gore or, you know, you're a bit sensitive, I'd probably skip the next minute or two. So I'll quickly explain what happened. Um, it was... Honestly, sometimes I hate being a mother. Like, I love being a mother. It's the best job in the world. But honestly, the amount of anxiety that it gives you, well, me anyway, like, it's painful, you know? Seeing your little bundles, your little babies, no matter what their age, in pain is so hard. I didn't sleep a wink last night. I'm absolutely exhausted, which is why I look like this. Um, he's gone into school today. He actually woke up this morning feeling fine. Anyway, I'll, I'll tell you what happened. Um, we have we live in a really really old building, um, and the layout of it I can't even explain it to you because it wouldn't make sense. But it's on like we're on a lot of different levels, and our hallway has like about four different steps um so yeah when you're out in the hallway you, like the kids run up and down the steps all the time um and my little boy tripped like he mis misplaced his foot on the step and he fell he hit his mouth his tooth has gone through his lip there was it was like a fountain everywhere all over the carpet everywhere he freaked out my then eight-year-old daughter, she saw it. She freaked out. So she screamed at him, which made him freak out even more. It all got a little bit crazy. I then pretty much fainted because I apparently am queasy now and can't cope with it. Um, so I had to sit down with my head between my, with my head between my knees. Um was my husband was amazing and dealt with it so yeah world's worst mother goes to me um and whilst my daughter's like eight year old daughter being an absolute superstar after she like stopped freaking out like getting me a drink and making sure i was okay and then i was cleaning everything up afterwards and she was helping me like trying to help me clean like she was brilliant she was amazing uh, she makes me so proud um but yeah what he's done is he's we thought we were going to have to take him to A&E to get it stitched up, but he's cut through. He's not gone all the way through. He's gone on the inside. He's cut through the top of his lip. He's woke up this morning like it swelled up instantly, like instantly. He said he felt like a duck, bless him. Um, and he's woke up this morning and it's gone, a, it's gone purple and then like bruised a bit above. And then inside it's really, it's gone red, like a big red welt um but it has sealed it stopped bleeding and it's um it's sealed shut which is good and he's like eaten okay i made them soft breakfast this morning he's eating okay and all that but yeah i didn't anyway that was proper dramatic last night we've never had any of them like hurt themselves that much before um which is really lucky, like really good, but obviously accidents do happen. And like, especially when you've got really clumsy children like mine, accidents are bound to happen. But, oh, I, I'm i really anxious. So I was freaking out. Like I was trying to stay really calm, but I kept staring at my husband and mouthing, we need to go to hospital. Like I was really freaking out. And my husband was trying to keep me calm because he's very level headed. I'm not. And yeah, luckily he's all fine. 
<laughs> to my god was it an ordeal but he's woke up this morning i woke up this morning and i could hear him singing jurassic world in his bedroom um <laughs> so i went and got him out of bed and he's eating breakfast fine and he's he's off to school i spoke with his teacher just to explain what happened and say that if he needs the uh, collecting then i'll go and collect him but he seems okay but they put you through it don't they they really do I, I just i was lying in bed last night all the thoughts going through my head like what if i need to go and take him to have stitches like what what am i going to give him to eat what i'm going to send him to school with like what food am i going to send him to school with like all these silly little things going through my head that i just couldn't sleep i just could not sleep but anyway I needed to get that off my chest. I needed to talk to somebody about that. Thank you for listening. <laughs> the rest of the the rest of the video will be more reselling related, but thanks for being there. Thanks for listening to me. If you had to move on and fast forward, I understand. Um but yeah, what are my plans for today? I have got parcels that I need to post today. And I have I want to show you some bits that we picked up on Thursday. We didn't do a proper source, but... Oh, gosh, my skin. I really need to sort this out. Anyway, I got distracted. I just felt how bad it was. <laughs> I want to show you some of the things that we picked up last week. Like I said, we didn't do a proper source, but we did go into a few shops, picked up a few bits. So I will... I'll show you those in a minute, actually. I'll show, share with you what I picked up. There wasn't a whole lot, but I'm going to sit and maybe draft some of them today um yeah i've got to put some stuff away i've got a couple of boxes that need to go up to the loft like i said i've got to do parcels sales have been absolutely dire absolutely dire and they had started to pick up things are looking good and then they have just dropped dropped off a cliff um to be fair the end of last week i hadn't done a huge amount of ebay uh so yeah that's probably why i've had things scheduled things have gone live i've gone down to five items going live every single day now um but yeah sales have completely vanished into thin air so what i really want to do today if i'm completely honest is just sit on the sofa wrap myself in my blanket and play the sims 4 but i've got responsibilities We've got bills to pay, so I'm not going to do that. I am going to do some work. But yeah, I'm going to share with you what I picked up from the charity shop last week. Right, I'm going to show you the things that I picked up. I can't remember how many days ago now, but a few days ago. Also, now that I'm looking at the outfit choice for today... <sighs> I think I may have been delirious and sleep deprived this morning because I look like some kind of farm help. Um, and yeah, the dungarees I showed in a haul video. Um, I can't remember which haul video, but a pretty recent one. And I thought, actually, you know what? I'm going to keep them. Um, I bought three pairs of fat faced dungarees. They're a little big. You can't really see because I'm standing a bit close. Um, but, you know, for dungarees, you want them big and baggy, don't you? But I don't know what I was thinking this morning, putting it with, like, a little gingham check top. Because, yeah, it's not really... And um, this isn't really, you know... I don't know. Anyway, I'll show you what I bought. Um, yeah, there's nothing super exciting, but I'll quickly show you. We've got this damsel in a dress. I'm thinking Mother of the Bride for this one. It was on the sale rail for £3.45. Um, I'm not really sure, is it like a gold colour? I wouldn't go as far to say it's champagne because I think it's a bit dark for champagne. Um, but yeah, damsel in a dress, size 14. And I think wedding season is going to be big this year. I've got, I just got a feeling. I mean, I am not an expert. I had my wedding last minute in a register office with like pretty much no effort and then we went for recovery afterwards um so i'm not a wedding expert but i do think weddings are going to be big this year i think they're probably going to be back like with the whole covid thing now not being like at an end 
but social events are now like back again aren't they um so i think a lot more people are going to be comfortable with getting married and planning a wedding this year so yeah i have started picking up wedding guest outfits i won't be selling wedding dresses because that is way too much of a pressure <laughs> so yeah that is that one i've also got another similar one which i'll show you actually now this one this is also a damsel in a dress this one was is brand new it's a gorgeous like sage green color i'm absolutely in love with this color and it's like all lacy this one was we paid up a little bit for this one um we did pay 10 pounds for this because it's brand new with tags so yeah i may have overpaid for it i just thought the color was absolutely gorgeous it, it screams mother of the bride but also like the fit like the cut of it screams mother of the bride but i reckon anybody could look gorgeous in that like i think that is beautiful well actually maybe not me because i don't think the color is me i don't think i'd look great in anything today because look at the bags under my eyes anyway i'm not going to put myself down anymore because we don't do that here um so yeah those are those two and then we've got this is just a long tall sally black like jersey dress um kind of falls over the front yeah it's like a mock wrap like a fixed wrap this was two pound 45 which is why i picked it up um long tall sally isn't the best seller for me but bread and butter isn't it uh this is a size medium it's just like a stretchy work dress and like transitioning into spring short sleeve dresses i don't know i just thought it was worth it for it being that cheap also ignore the back of my head i think all my hair's fallen out um these are the next waist enhancer jeans i will always pick up the waist enhancer these are boot cut which i think I don't know, I know flares are coming back in. I don't know if a boot cut is there as well. Not 100% sure, don't quote me on that. But yeah, the next waist enhancers I will usually pick up if they're cheap enough because they usually go for like 20 quid, 18 to 20 quid because they're good jeans. Like I've got a pair of waist enhancers from Next and they're just such an, an, a nice fit and a lot of people will go looking for them. I think they're about 40 quid in Next and these are a relatively like recent label. If I'll show you that, waist enhancer, boot cut, but the only problem with these is they're a size 10 short, but they're £3.95, so I thought I would pick them up. Uh, next, I'll show you both of these together because they came together in a set, but I will not be selling them in a set because they're not the same size. They are Maasai. Um, the reason I put, picked them up, I don't pick up a huge amount of Maasai now, um, is because they are proper lager look um and like i say they came in a set and there was six pound 95 for the set so it's like three pound 50 a piece and i couldn't i couldn't not especially this this is gorgeous like this is a long is it no it's a short sleeveless sorry like black cardigan like it ties at the front it's really long and it has like tiny little ties at the front but they're on a hanger together and they were selling them together but the cardigans are large and the dresses are small which is great fine you could wear it like that but i don't think they'll sell very well like that but there's the dress really nice actually i really like that um i'm hoping it will sell well but yeah 6.95 each so that's like what three pound fifty each so a decent price um but yeah i don't go out of my way to pick up Maasai anymore but I will if it's a nice piece. And then next we've got, this is Samso and Samso. This is a men's denim shirt or chambray shirt with snap pops. Um, what size is it? Size medium and it was £3.75. The comps on these, I checked comps. So I had a Samso and Samso dress in my shop for a while, but it's a really small size and it hasn't sold. Um, but yeah, I picked this up because the comps are about sitting at about £25. And I thought this, like, this is a really lightweight denim shirt. Going into spring, this is going to be really, really good. But I don't usually like picking menswear up. She says as she picks up another menswear piece. Um, I just don't find as much joy selling it. And I don't really know very much about it. But then that's not a bad thing because I can learn. This is Joe Brown's, a men's Joe Brown's. Can you hear those little feet? 
my dog's just walked in and then's jerry brown's linen shirt and it's like a collarless one like this is something that you would take on holiday isn't it you know what i mean i like this a lot i think this is really nice really lightweight like slightly pleated in the front size extra large and it was three pound fifty so my husband found that we thought it was worth giving that a go this is jigsaw i love the color of this like a proper spring yellow doesn't show up on camera very well but the yellow is beautiful and it's like lacy all the way around it's linen it's v-neck linen season is going to be upon us really quickly so now is the time to get your linen pieces and your lightweight pieces and your floral pieces because it's going to be here before you know it but that piece is gorgeous i really like it and it was only three pounds it's in a size it's a uk size eight which is unfortunate i mean not unfortunate for any other reason than it just won't sell as quickly um but yeah i'll still pick it up regardless of size i didn't even look at size when i bought it because it was nice enough to not care this is so cute i actually, i don't know why but i fell hard for this this is a vintage st michael little waist like knitted 100 wool waistcoat with a little golfer embroidered on it look how cute that is i love it i think it's so cute it is a men's medium and i paid five pound i don't know whether that was a, a right or a wrong thing to do but i just thought it was dead sweet and it's in this really nice like jewel green color and i just i thought it was adorable i just couldn't leave it behind and then another vintage piece no brand on it that i can really no there is no brand it's just 100 percent acrylic and i paid six quid for it but look at the print on that look at it again sagey green which to me it screams like spring summer which i know knits aren't really spring summer well i guess a knit is spring isn't it because you do transition into a knit i can't oh i just tread on something i'm just tread on a bag that i've left on the floor um i'm trying to show you like it's gorgeous i don't pick up vintage very often because i don't really know what i'm doing with it to be completely honest i don't know vintage but this is this is well cute so yeah i picked that up and then finally something which i probably shouldn't have picked up but i couldn't leave it behind I should have left it behind but i didn't it's this max mara pale pink wool skirt the reason i should have left it behind is because i saw that it had this mark on it over where, where there i knew it had this mark on it and yet i still picked it up because i just fell in love with it because the color is really cute yeah i shouldn't have picked this up but i did i paid three pound for it as well um and i knew that it was stained but hopefully somebody i'm not even going to try and get the stain out of it i'm not going to lie i'm just going to list it hopefully somebody will be able to get the stains out so yeah that they're the things that i bought last week um i'm not buying much at the minute because i'll be honest funds are low um so yeah we're not we're not sourcing a huge amount and i'm still trying to get rid of all the stock that i've got we have got a hallway full of stock like our death pile is huge so we need to get on with that so that is my plan <laughs> i'm gonna get drafting some of this there's some stuff on here that i need to get on with dealing with as well um but yeah that's the plan for the rest of the day post and work but first more coffee do you like my new squishmallow it's a crab it's a crab and i love it and i just wanted to share it with you it's very soft and squishy and that's it i just i just wanted to share her with you but these are actually gonna be real ones that don't move but they, they shoot water at you Oh, right. From their mouths. Okay. If they don't have the mouths that can open, or they have their mouths open, if they have their mouths open and you can't close it, they are, you, you can spray it, and if you, you can open their mouths again. Meow. I know. Mm. That there. Beep. 
beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, he's going to fall off. He's going to fall off the road. There you What's at the edge of the road? That's the sand, then you can go on sand. The sand. Okay. You can go on the sand, then me on the one truck, and go, go into the water with one. Oh, I've crashed! I can be. And to get over that I one, don't think I should be driving this car, you know. Why? I can't. I don't think blind people are allowed to drive. Yeah, no, I mean, you can drive toy cars. Alright, alright. Toy cars are safe. Okay. Sure. They're not. And you can go to drive your stadiums. So what's this game called? Mm, Dino Theme Park. Dino Theme Park. Where are the rides? This is actually one of the rides. Oh, okay, cool, cool. But then cool. another ride is a boat. Yeah. Boat ride to get into the water or loop-de-loop -loop ride. Loop-de-loop. -loop. A loop. So we need this parking. So we both have to turn and park like this. Okay, go on then, park him up. Is that reverse parking, is it? Yeah. Oh, that is some clean parking. I'll be fun parking. I was staying Play in the time. lines. Oh, right. Staying my... in the lines, that's some clean parking, that. Where all the park lines are. Didn't... A dinosaur theme park. Where oh. you can park. Wow. Hello, it is now Tuesday and I didn't end the vlog yesterday because I was so exhausted that I fell asleep last night very early. <laughs> um, thankfully, I got a really good sleep last night, so I feel so much better. So today is I'm trying to hide my skin. I won't lie. I'm not even going to pretend that I'm not trying to hide my skin. It is absolutely awful. Um so today I'm going to list, 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 like my life depends on it, because I've got so much to get through and eBay really needs my attention. So that's my plan for today. I've just finished a coffee. It is half past nine. My coffee is finished. I am now drinking a smoothie because I need vitamins. Look at the state of me, for God's sake. Look, look at the state of me. Um... The sun is beautiful this morning, shining through the window, really blue skies. It's cold, it's frosty, but the sun is shining through the window and it's making me feel like spring. Like it feels like spring. But yeah, I'm gonna get some work done. And that's about it. I'm not really I'm not gonna vlog today. I'm gonna end the vlog here or the video here. I don't really know what kind of video this was, to be honest. Um there was a little bit of everything. I've got some parcels to do. My son was very clingy. No, clingy's not the right word. Like, clingy makes it sound negative. He needed me yesterday with his... His face is very swollen, bless him. Um, and he just needed my time and attention. So I didn't manage to get anything done when they were home from school. Um, so, and I think he's going to be very much the same today. So I need to get everything done whilst they're at school what i look like i've been electrocuted i can't uh i need to shower and wash my hair that's also on the list of stuff to do today um so yeah i'm gonna leave this video here if you did enjoy the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up um subscribe if you haven't all that youtubey stuff that i always say at the end of my videos thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye everybody Thank you.